class to crack addicts. How's everybody doing today? Uh, long time no talk. Well, it hasn't been a long time, but you know me. Busy, busy, busy. So, uh, yeah, I've been busy around here and you know, living life, trying to enjoy life. Also get things done. Uh, you know how it goes. But, yeah, wanted to take some time, make a video. Got a, a stack of things I need to get through. But uh, I was going to do some other stuff first, but I came across this at the... Uh, at Walmart the other day, we were you know, we were out there. I think we were looking for Matchbox cars, and you know, with the kids, and I came across the the Matchbox car, you know, diecast metal for the uh, the Batman movie, new Batman movie, which I didn't get a chance to see yet. But the uh, the Matchbox car was solid. It was, it was a nice car. I was gonna do an unboxing, uh, open it up, do a review, but my five year old got to it first. And opened it, so that's out. But I did come across this that I wanted to open and show you. Now we we were looking for Matchbox cars, me and the oldest, because you know we want to start playing this. Uh, let me zoom out here a little bit. So I want to start playing this. Give this a try. It's been on it's been on my list for a while. I've I think I've had the book for two years, but basically it's uh if you're not familiar with it, it is. Uh, it's death race basically yeah i guess i guess you call it death race um if you've ever watched those movies kind of like that uh and you have teams and stuff like that um but yeah he wanted to get some matchbox cars customize them and things like that but i came across this and i said "Ooh, ooh i'm gonna i'm gonna do a video on this and uh now while in that game you can edit your car you can glue stuff to them customize them make them super awesome i think these i'm probably gonna leave as is because well, the Master Universe Hot Wheel character cars. And these are a little bit different, I think, from the single packed ones that came out a while ago. So let's let's dig in, let's take a look. Um, right away, the uh, you know, this is pretty cool. Now you can I did open this part up the other day. And what's going on? My light's blinking. It's gonna give me a seizure. There we go. Uh, So I did open it, open it up this far the other day, and I think you can punch these out, but I don't want to because I want to leave that because it's cool. I think this will pop out. Oh yeah, it will. Okay, great. So I'll pop right out. So let's leave that hole, and then we can really look at the cars. Oh, nice, nice. So let's do these one by one. Let's take them out, give them a look. And again, we don't usually do Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars and that sort of thing here, but. These are too cool not to. Maybe I... Ooh, ooh, solid. Okay. So this, have to, so this is the He-Man car. <laughs> Let's get the, the blonde hair. Okay. All right. I kind of... Now, you could also... If, if you had some extra of these, you could probably also, you know, paint it orange and you could have a Donald Trump car. Uh, <laughs> just... Oh, my... Oh, well, that'd be awesome. Anyways, that... Uh, now I want an extra one to do that. But... Okay. Oh, you get the sword going to the side. That's pretty cool. Uh, I like that. And in that, in this game, right? So I'll leave the book there for anybody who's interested. Um, the in the game you have different weight class vehicles. You, know, you have buggies and uh, things like that. And you know you can add flamethrowers and machine guns on your car, stuff like that. But I'm going to leave these as they are. Uh, I'm not going to edit them because that would be silly, right? It's He-Man cars. I'm going to leave them as is. So, uh, all right, we got He-Man out of the way. I think pretty cool car. Now, these are still mostly plastic from the feel, but, you know, they look good. Now, of course, we did He-Man. Let's look at Skeletor. Okay, so Skeletor car. Nice, get a nice. You know, maybe I will edit a little bit. You didn't hear and chrome this up although it's got the blue right it's got the blue for skeletors yeah okay i can see why so now this one is not as funny nor entertaining as the he-man car right now you don't have his blonde hair going on there but you get the face okay you get his staff his havoc staff and when did the, i had not seen these before so okay these came out last year uh and this box i didn't even notice it my son noticed it just sitting there on an empty shelf near the hot wheels and he said dad check this out I'm like, oh, oh okay yeah we gotta team man we gotta get it awesome okay so we get skeletor and they roll well again the the batman car 
Now the Batman card was like five bucks. Well, actually, this is about these were about four bucks each, I think, after you, after you buy the whole package. Uh, but it's solid. The wheels are very rubbery, and it, oh, I just yeah. If you ever liked Matchbox cars growing up, it, it's a sweet car. And that one I'm also not going to edit to play in Gaslands. Because you make up character cards in the game. Uh, I'm not going to do a whole review of that game. But I do want to get some videos posted once we finally do learn to play. Uh, we looked, Like I said, we had the book for about two years. And off and on we kept talking about playing and getting into it. But then one of uh, one of the guys at the game shop recently got the book. And said, hey, I want to try playing this. Who's in? And I said, oh, all right, we're in. Because I've been wanting to do that for a while. But, yeah. All right, so Tila Car. Okay, that's cool. I like the way you get the the snake uh, the snake stuff there. You know, you get the gold trim all around, right? Oh, it's got her, uh, yep, the little leaves there or whatever it is that hangs from her, from her bodice, as it were. Almost looks like Kit, but not quite. Chila. Made in Thailand. Of course it is. But yeah, overall, that's that's a pretty cool one. I like that. So I'm really, I, I think I'm really excited for these two the most, honestly. Uh, so far, the He-Man card is my favorite. But this one, these two I'm really excited for. If I can pop these out with, without too much trouble. I don't want to don't damage the box because I think it's a cool box. I think it's worth keeping. Okay, this one's got some heft to it. Right? We have a Beast Man... I don't know what it is. Dump truck? I don't know. But, I mean, this, it is, yeah, okay. Check that out. Beast Man's face. Got his, got his, uh, you know, spiky armor there. The colors are spot on. Oh, uh, big and beefy. Gas cans in the back. Yeah, I mean, the this one and the next one I'm going to show you are the ones that I'm probably most excited about. Uh, so these will be like heavy vehicles. That one, you know, you know get a roll. Really nice. Ooh. Very exciting. Crash. Uh, yeah. So, Beast Man. And then, well, we have Man at Arms. An Orca one would be really cool. Now, again, they made, I have a different He-Man matchbox downstairs. It's like a Unimog, and it just has like his picture i think it's actually something like that picture just painted on the side right it's not like this um but these are cool so i, I had to get these okay then we got man at arms here oh okay so we got a six wheeler here that's pretty cool if we look around we've got obviously his face i like the way his staff is like a you know his uh his club is like a snorkel you know, give you some improved fuel efficiency, horsepower, and keep the dirt out of the engine. Excellent. I was thinking of putting one on my truck, but, you know, we'll see someday. Uh, I like the, again, the colors are right there, right where they ought to be. Pretty cool. They, you know, they got all the little details in there. I, I think they're well designed. Uh, would I have liked to see them be a little more solid, like, you know the solid metal ones, like you know the Batman car. If I hold that, it's it's heavy. Yeah, I would like I would have liked that a little bit better. But overall, can't complain about those. It's Masters of the Universe. Not horrible, but yeah, I'm I'm liking it. I think they're pretty cool, and I'm excited. Now they have they also have Mario Kart. They're these are completely separate topic, but uh, they have Mario Kart matchbox right i think those i've seen that people play those in that game too in Castlands. they make like a mario kart Castlands. you can you just modify the rules a little bit but uh yeah that'd be pretty pretty sweet too but i'm, I'm excited to get down <laughs> go down to the store and be like hey, here's my team here's my team uh and yeah that'll be pretty cool but yeah again just something a little different i wanted to show everybody i'm not again i didn't know these existed so i'm not sure if anybody else was maybe missing out on those. Uh, apparently, they're still out there because I found this one. Again, it was the only one they had. But yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Uh, Going to get more content soon. Hoping to record a game tonight if you know if, if people show. 
and uh, yeah, hopefully get hopefully get some. I'm trying to get some more MechWarrior games on here. Uh, it's just finding people to play with, and I definitely want to. Once we start playing Gaslands, I'm going to get that up here. That'll be pretty cool, I think. But yeah, thanks for thanks for coming by. Thanks for checking it out. And you know, I really didn't spend a lot of time on this box, but yeah, I want to check that out a little bit more because we like to look at the artwork. Uh, pretty cool. Again, you can you can punch those out. And I wonder if you would, if you could punch them out, and I don't know why you would punch them out, other than the fact that it shows the cars there. But I'm gonna leave that hole. Um, yeah, nothing special on the box on the back, anyways. But yeah, yeah. If anybody has an extra one of these, I'll turn it into a Trump car because that would just be hilarious. <laughs> it would be huge. Anyways, all right, thanks for coming by. Everybody have a great day, and I'll have some more stuff for you soon. See ya.